Are there scenes of yours that have been left on the cutting room floor from previous films that perhaps still get under your skin, hoping that they didn't get cut? Well, in, in this film in particular, we, we have a lot of it that, that yeah. had to be removed just for the bird's eye view of what this movie was and the, the structure. And there was right. a whole musical sequence in this. Uh, <laughs> that, but that's still in it, though. Yes, yeah. you left. You put that back too. Oh, well, yeah. I, I had yeah. that on my iPhone, uh, and I'm okay. ready and willing to share that. Okay. We wanted we wanted to make sure it was more accessible. The movie. Yeah. yeah. I think one of the the themes of the novel and of this film is of a difficult and dark redemption, and that requires a crucible. Uh, in this case, for core for my character and so um, he has to embrace it uh, in order to find himself. The narrative for, for, for Vernon is um, it's relentless and it's a pursuit, it's about vengeance and it's uh, unapologetic. He's very, very focused and he's very determined. It's almost a, an atavistic quality to him. He's an, an animal. He, he, he doesn't view taking a life as a big deal. And I needed to find, it was important for, 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 well, for us to find um, depth to the character, to give him some depth and, there's a, and, and, and to understand the meaning of, of what this, his son meant to him. What we had was a script that was um, incredibly um, cinematic and lyrical, but as Jeremy described, sparse and efficient. And it had, um, it had uh, an architecture to it that I just found really riveting. So each scene kind of was like infused with this, with these, uh, this dynamic tension just based on the structuring of the storytelling. You got the most face time, it, it, it seems, with the wolves. Uh, and did you ever have any, um, you know, too close encounters? I was obviously, uh, you know, a little curious how they would react. But the weird thing was, you know, in, I'm often wearing this big caribou suit and, uh, you know, I came out the first time in the suit, and I'm thinking, are they gonna think that this is like caribou lunch, you know? <laughs> and I kind of come creeping through, and they were so freaked out. They were kind of talking amongst themselves, saying, hey, why is the caribou <laughs> yeah. talking? Uh, what, and, why, and what's the gun thing in his hand? They were totally freaked out by this unusual, like caribou-like animal that had come into their space, and they, didn't, they wanted to get the hell out of there.